hello guys today I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple scene of light and it is so powerful that even 70 or 80 percent of uh, of artists are making this scene to show up their uh, their products and make them looking so amazing with very simple light and this this light is used using only three three lights like you can see here in our render view that we have this simple sphere so I'm gonna start uh, explaining our scene with a simple uh, sphere then we're gonna go to see how it will look on our product and we're gonna use a very simple product so let's start it so you can see here that we have uh, our lights and we have a key light and we have a fill light and we have a backlight you can search for them in you in Google so you can see and explain all those three but we're gonna make this uh, very simple so everyone can understand this so let's start turning off all our lights now we can't see anything let's start with uh, our key light so like like you can see this is our key light so our key light is uh, lighting our product uh, you can from almost the half and our key light need to be the strongest light so le let's make an example like see like sun so the sun need to be coming from the sun of course and she need to be st the strongest light so let's go to the fill light the problem here that when I when we are making uh, the key light you can see the rest of our product we can't see anything and it's almost invisible it's not visible at all so what we can do we can use our fill light to fix this problem so with the fill light coming from the opposite direction we can fill our dark place on the object to fix this problem and make it look realistic then we have the backlight so what we use the backlight it's the backlight is using we, we use the black light to separate our object from the background how we gonna make this we're gonna make strong light on the edges of our product so we can make it stand up like this and we can uh, give very example on our next product and you can already see how it look our sphere look so realistic so i'm gonna change my scene and we're gonna start uh, working on our new product okay now we are back to our scene what we do what did we do we did the search for energy drink it's a, a free asset or a product that you can use it from the blender kit it's for free so let's try to make our scene looks 
perfect or our product to look perfect. Let's hide this. The first thing that we need to start is going to the work property. What we need is to make it darker or make the strong zero. So we have the full control of our scene. Then we're gonna go to light. Before that, I will show you how we can create a light. It's very simple. Shift A and going to light and area light. But I don't like using this way. So I need to every every time I need to go or uh, to get change, I need to rotate our my pro, my area light in and you can see it's very taking time and trying to get the right uh, angle there is other ways to make it easier but for me the simple way to to get it more easier is to do this we go to constraint edit object constraint and we use track tool you can see it here and we can edit mm, empty plane axis it will not show on our render view and we're gonna go here track tool and take our empty to target and this is what we'll do it will make our area following or tracking our axis that is in the middle of our cam so like this we can make changes on our area very easily and this will be more easier okay I use I find this trick very very helpful yeah okay let's go to delete this and start with the key light so the key light need to be the strongest light like we said and how we can make this first of all I like to make our area light smaller to give me a very strong light and very hard shadow let's uh, try to put it in the best way I think this one is good make it like this okay that's good I think this is very good so this is our half plot uh, half product the most of it so I think it's good let's try to strong our light So when you when it gets closer it will be stronger and hard we don't we don't want this we need to be perfect at least uh, yeah I think this one looks a little bit yeah this one is perfect so like we said we have the problem that our second side is fully dark you can see it's fully dark so what we can use the fill light so where is our fill light you can see it's so big we can take it to the other side we can make it smaller and try to make it closer but too hard we don't want this it's very bad let's check 
our strong light here let's try to make it the same 100 okay so we can see that with the same the same size let's try to make it the same size only for edification purposes so to make this less less uh, stronger light and we need to make it softer and we need it to be less light than the front light so the easy way for me we didn't change the light you can see it the strong so even it's I make it bigger you can see the light is more softer and if we try to make this more bigger it's less light even if it's the area light is bigger but it's less light and softer let's try to take it back a little yeah I think that's good I think this is perfect so we need this strong and we need the fill light only to be softer and uh, making the other side showing up so what we can do more we can go to the backlight we can turn them off and we can see what our um, backlight is doing for us so how we can use our backlight I think this is the perfect is already perfect you can see you can even use uh, the backlight alone to give us a very good cinematic slide you can see yeah, you can even do an animation with this shown our product you can see it's very very simple so what the backlight is doing the backlight is giving us a reflection on the edges of our product to make our product separate from the background and this is what we need to make it look more 3d and more realistic so we need to to see how it look on all the lights this is the back light you can see already how it's looking great and you can see the main light or the key light you can see from the beginning the key light the fill light and the backlight so I think this is the the most used and the very very simple scene of uh, taking our product to the next level and we we did it only with three simple lights and uh, you can use this in I think 80% uh, of your projects so what we can do more we can edit the plane we can make it 90 degree I'm gonna go to the top to see where it's my camera I'm trying to rotate it Take it back, take it back. Okay, that's perfect. Let's give her a material, a white one. We can go to our shader editor. We can delete our principal PSDF. We can edit emission. And 
dimension shader connect it to the surface this is uh, make our our plane giving light can give a white light and we don't from our light to to give in light to destroy our already seen our product so what we can do we can go to object visibility and ray visibility we can uh, and select this so it's not given a diffuse glossy transform volume so it it will not destroy our lighting scene so it will be only a back a white background and shine one let's try maybe to increase more but it will not destroy our scene at all so it will be only visible to the camera yeah a very simple trick but it's very powerful so thank you so much guys for watching my tutorial video i hope this one was very helpful for you and if it was helpful i hope you will subscribe or put a like on the video so this will make me uh, put in a lot of future tutorial video for you guys so thank you and have a good day